I feel the need, the need for speed. What's up, guys, and welcome back to some more Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today, we are hopping back in the jet, and we are going to be attempting five of the world's toughest landings. Now, I know, I know, we've already landed on an aircraft carrier, which, by the way, I do want to go back to that. I want to, uh, I want to see if we could eventually get an A on the landing there, but... Um, I figured it'd be kind of fun just to kind of see how it compares. We've done some of these landings in the past here on Flight Sim. There's even challenges and things like that built into the game for them. And so obviously, fighter jets are, you know, going to have a bit of an advantage. But uh, we're just going to see what we can do. Now, this is St. Bart's right here. We're actually going to be checking this one out as well. I thought it'd be kind of fun to fly over it and see just how close these islands are. And some of the big wigs out there got the private jets to island hop. We've... We've got the fighter jet to island hop. I think we're going to be a little bit quicker. So we are going to head over to St. Martin, and this is going to be stop number one of five. Bringing up our map here. So this this is St. Bart's, and St. Martin is going to be over here. St. Martin's the one where you come in over really close to the beach, and it's kind of a tough landing, so this this is going to be fun. I mean, it, it took us like 30 seconds to go go from St. Bart's to St. Martin. This is insane. This is, dude, this is a... I just love this game so much. My passion for this game has been so incredibly reignited here. Where am I looking, though? I know we're close. I think... I think it's over here on the south side. Yeah, this is it right here. This is Maho Beach over here. You guys have seen a vlog from there. One of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And you've got airplanes coming in right over your head. So, well, we are gonna see what we can do about landing at that thing. And we are above the speed of sound right now. That's why it sounds like that. That's incredible. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and reduce the afterburners. We are gonna take a uh, 17 bajillion G turn here. Here we go. Gonna give us a nice long run up. We're gonna wanna stay along the water. I kinda lost the airport a little bit. I think it's in front of us. I hope it's in front of us. We're really close to the water, if not. We're gonna be okay, though. Just keep this thing coming in. Our landing gear down, right? Yeah, we're down. Um, I'm gonna go up a little bit just to get a peek. You guys see, oh, runway's over here. All right, here we go. We're gonna be fine. Bring it back this way. Bring it back this way. Don't worry. We're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be just fine. Hang on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, this, I can't even imagine what it would be like to be on Maho Beach. If you guys ever get a chance to go to Maho, make sure you do it. But imagine a fighter jet coming in just over your head. Here we go. Nice soft landing. No, no power at all here. Let's see how it looks from the outside. Bada bing. And bada boom. All right, there it is. Number one checked off the list. This one's not that hard. Obviously, we've got a lot of runway here. Heck, let's do an afterburner takeoff as well. So, uh, obviously, a lot of runway. Big planes land here. It's just kind of interesting because you got to get so close to the water when they're coming in, especially some of the bigger planes. So, anyway, let's, uh, I mean, I, I guess since we're so close, we could just kind of go back on over to St. Bart's. I don't know the exact approach on it, but we could probably figure it out. Do this. It's just crazy. Flying around the Caribbean in a jet, baby. Woo! I don't think we can pull these maneuvers without blacking out. I don't know how to turn on blackouts. <laughs> oh my goodness. When you're not in like the Top Gun challenge mode, I don't know if they exist or what. It's probably in the settings somewhere, Trev. It's probably not that hard. This is just crazy. Let's get back inside the jet. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, everyone always dreams about having a PJ and being able to do this kind of thing. I feel like having your own $80 million F-18 is a little bit better. Whoa, 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 let me, let me pull up my map here. Just hang in there, bud. Hang in there. Okay, this makes me a little bit nervous. Yep, St. Saint Bart's is going to be over here. It's a really, sh it, it's kind of like St. Martin a little bit, but it's tougher because you come up over a mountain and then you've got to drop at the last minute. It actually might be pretty tough in the jet since these things are so fast. Man, I could just watch this all day. This is crazy. I have turned off all the HUD when we're outside the jet now. Obviously, inside the jet, we're gonna have all of our, you know, gauges and things we're gonna be able to use. I just feel like it makes it a little bit more cinematic when we're outside here. Woo! All right. 
Let me see what we're working with. We're going to pull the power back. And we're going to try to see if we can see our approach. This is just so beautiful. So I know it's kind of in the middle of the island. I think that's it right there. Yeah. Usually planes will come over this crest and then land facing that way. So we're going to aim ourselves towards that cruise ship. Let's go ahead and blast on out of here and find a good approach. How are we looking behind us? I've actually got a really cool idea. I'm going to try to line us up. We're going to see if we can split S into a landing. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I am a little bit worried about our speed here. I, I don't... We're, we're going to have to time this perfectly. This We're going to have to be on the ball just like we were on the carrier. I think it's about there. All right, here we go. We even have enough altitude to be able to split us. I'm not sure. We're going to find out very soon, though. Here we go. All right, upside down. Split us. Go, 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 go. We did not have enough speed to split us. All right, light, light the afterburners to, to start. We've got extra speed and altitude. Our airport is behind us. We're going to want to put a little bit more distance between us and it. Maybe trim down a little bit. I feel like we're really we're trimmed up pretty hard here. That might just be because of the, be because of the afterburners, though. All right, let's see. I mean, we're, we're going to try this again. We're going to do it inside. Oh, gosh. Okay. Y'all ready? Here we go. Pull straight back, Trev. Straight back. Whoa, whoa, oh, maybe turn the afterburners off. Oh, shoot. This. Why could I not do the split S like I want to? To be honest, I'm really surprised we're not able to, to get this easier. Maybe you need to pull back on the speed a little bit. I think we had too much speed. I was thinking we didn't have enough speed. We had too much speed. All right, landing gear out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It is it is game time. It is game time. Our landing gear out, we got we to pull back on the speed. Shoot. All right, well, at least we did the split S. We're going to come in way too hot, though. This is not happening. This is... Is our landing gear even out? It is. All right. Dude, this is going to be such a... I don't know if this is going to be possible. Yeah, I'm going to have to bolter that one. I mean, these jets, they're so nimble. Like, the, the getting up and over the mountain, I don't think, is, is the tough part. I think that's going to be easier than really in any other plane. It's just the speed. Speed kills, man. These things, I don't, what's what's the landing speed of one of these? Like, 160 or something like that? I'm honestly not sure. I just, I don't, I don't, like, we're going to have to time it perfectly to basically f fall this bird out of the sky, you know, just kind of have it float down straight onto that tarmac, and even then, I don't know if we're going to be able to stop in time, because the landing speed is so slow in these things, so we'll, we'll see what happens, we've got a nice long approach here, this game is just so beautiful, man, look at this, got to make sure we've got enough height to get over that little crest, and then we've just got to, got to drop it, so it's all about timing, it's all about finding that balance. I'm imagining being outside of the cockpit's probably gonna be a lot easier here. I'm open to a challenge. It's somewhere up here. I can't even really see it. I hope we're straight on line here. Let me get a little, little peek, see if we can. Let me get a little peek, see up over the thing. Ooh. Go over to the right more. I do kind of miss some of our indicators. I think it's over to the right more. Root and waypoints. If I turn that on, is that is that gonna help? There it is. Okay. I mean, it kind of helps to have that, but it still doesn't tell me much. Do we have? We don't have one of those fancy computers like the Death Star, Dark Star thing, do we? I don't think so. I think I think we're on our own. All right. Landing gear is down. Correct. It is. Here we go. Oh, I kind of see the airport here. Let's get it. Got to come in slow. Low and slow. Low and slow. A little bit to the left here. This might be decent. You gotta have enough speed to get up over the trees. Slow enough. Come on. A big pullback is gonna lose a bunch of speed. And then push it forward. Oh, come on! That was actually kind of close. I think that flare might have been a little aggressive. I don't know if we needed that much of a, a you know, pullback, but we're we're gonna be able to make it work. Here we go, afterburners. Let's get after it. Let's get down there. We're restarting this fresh new approach, fresh new uh, life to live. 
So we had the right idea. Like we we were we were close. We just flared a little bit too hard. Might go a little too slow here. Let me see. Uh, we're at like 260s. We're at a, we're at a good a good spot here. I feel like here we go. Come on. Don't want to gain too much altitude. Want to make sure we keep our speed low. We're about 200 air speed. About 100 feet up. Come on, baby. 180. I don't know where we start falling out of the sky. I need I need to read the instruction manual on the F-18. We need a little bit more. We still she's still got a little bit of juice in her. If anything, we can add. We we can't. It's very hard to subtract. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit. All I really need is a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. Come on. There it is. Kill it. Kill it, Trev. Kill it. Come on. Come on. We need a little bit more speed than that. This is... Damn it. This honestly might be the toughest one on the list. I tried to make the list from most to least interesting and I, I think this one could potentially take the cake a little bit of speed a little bit of speed Trev you landed on an aircraft carrier you can do this I'm sorry to the people of St. Martin just landed on the streets here we go come down I feel like I, I can feel this one I can feel this one just don't freak out and overcommit. I, I feel like sometimes we're nose diving a little bit too early. We're good, Trev. Cut the power. Ish. Kind of cut it. Don't cut it all the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is clean. This is clean. This is clean. This is clean. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Break. 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 Oh, we're going to the beach! Break! 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 No! No! It's an amphibious F-18. We made it. Okay, so if you thought that last one was crazy, we're we're getting out there here. We are going to be landing at Greece Fjord. G R I S E F I O R D. Now I I searched for it here in flight sim. It doesn't exist. This this airport isn't actually in flight sim but there is like a patch of grass where it is it's um it's the northernmost airport in canada and we're we're gonna see if we can do it so i've got it here on google maps and i'm just going to oh wow oh oh wow oh i did not realize this is where we were going okay so we we can just find this here it's up over yonder um, and the big finger that goes in Grease Fjord right there. And it's, uh, man, this seems like a really terrible idea. There's like a little nip that comes out this thing right here. And Grease Fjord is somewhere in here. So I'm just, I'm going to set his arrival. We're going to, I say we fly the coastline. The coastline would be fun. We're going to set this as a departure. It says we're going to get there in one minute. Uh, let's set our departure over here. We're going to zoom around the coastline, come around, and we're going to see if we can land. And I, I, This might not be possible, but we're just going to see what happens. The, the last two we're going to be doing, we're doing Saba and Lukla. Those are very famous ones. You guys probably know. Genuinely don't. Like, it, I have I have no idea. Here we go. Let's uh, zoom out. I like it zoomed out a little bit. Let's see what we're working with here. So we're going to go ahead and drop down as much as we can. Let's go ahead and Drop our landing gear as well. Love that. I hope we can load some of these textures at some point. We might not be able to. But yeah, this is the northernmost airport in North America that I guess you could say if it's the northernmost one in Canada. I thought about landing out in Antarctica, but I looked on, on some other YouTube videos and it's just not that crazy. Like this this looks a lot crazy than landing somewhere as remote as Antarctica. Um, we've got kind of some cooler terrain and things aka giant bubbles here sometimes it loads in it's it's gonna be fine if it doesn't though here we go let's get back inside the cockpit dude i this is so i've been totally enamored with with like fighter jets like i i literally feel like a child again um i i know way back in the day I, like f14 tomcat was like my hero which we will be doing a video on that here soon but um 
Yeah, just like all of my YouTube recommended is, is all like fighter jet stuff. All of my TikToks and Instagram reels and stuff for like aircraft carrier things. It's, it's so funny how it's kind of, I don't know, Top Gun just has me, has me fiending for it. All right. I saw somebody else's flight sim video and they had textures load in. How do you force load the textures? This, this is kind of ridiculous. We're coming in 122 airspeed. I mean, we, that's, that's fjord grease, whatever, over to our left right there. I mean, we, we could, we could just land it. There it is. It's been done. Technically, we're, we're going to see if we can fix this. Technically, I, I think you see the big mountain off to the left over here, this guy. This guy right here, uh, go ahead and trim down there, bud. There's no reason for you to be, or trim up. What would we want? Why, why are we just wheeling? I mean, we were able to do something I wasn't really expecting. Technically, I think the airport's gonna be somewhere around here. I, maybe this black line. But if I, I mean, this is kind of cool either way. If I can't, if I can't get these to load, then this one was a bust. Graphics, uh, terrain level of detail, that'll do it. We were at 250. We're gonna go up to 400. Let's see how that how that works for us. I mean, it's it's definitely more detailed. We lost a lot of frames, but there's still nothing here. What were we at, 250? I'm gonna put it back there. Uh, Off-screen terrain pre-caching, ultra, 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 2048. That's the highest that goes. Motion blur. I mean, I... I feel like this, I don't know how we can make this any better. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here. And I, it's, there's, there just might, I saw somebody's game had it. I don't know how he had it. Maybe he downloaded a, a texture pack or something. I'm not sure. Let me, let me afterburner take off here. Let's go. We've got some sort of a road under us right there. Go, 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 go. Gear up, gear up. Angle of attack might be a little bit high. And we lost it. Shoot. I goosed it. I goosed it. Nope, maybe not. We might be good. Come on, baby. Come on. Get this thing turned around. What on earth is happening? Okay. Uh, that one was a bust. Fear now. We're good, baby. We're going to be going to Saba. I think, is this the sh shortest runway in the world. This is a little Dutch island out here in the Caribbean, and uh, it's the smallest airport, smallest runway in the world. Um, again, I don't know if this is going to be possible. Okay, uh, this... This is a big... This is a big issue. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're flying at night. I can't see a thing. Uh, can I... Uh, weather? Can I change the weather and the time? Can we? Yeah, there it is. Okay, hello, beautiful world. That wow, I was a little bit worried there for a second, but we're okay. Let's uh, let's start our approach here. Take our VFR map off. Don't need that currently. I say we get a nice underbelly shot of the landing gear coming out. Yes, with the moon in the background. That's just gorgeous. I hope. I could say, I hope we're still staying airborne. We're good. Our approach is good. All right. So you can see, I guess we could bring up our map again. You can see we're coming in. And I believe the runway is going to be a little... We, we're going to need to go right a little bit on our approach here. But we're uh, we're going to be okay. This is going to be just fine. So we're going to, we're going to come out right a little bit. And we're going to be able to bring it back left. And I'm just... I'm hoping we're going to be able to slow this thing down enough. That's been kind of the story of today thus far. Last couple we pretty much tackled outside. I'm gonna see if we can, we're gonna try to do most of the approach inside. We might hop outside just to see the, the landing. We could even do like something like that so that when we when we land it does that. Oh, I, I haven't even looked at my guy in here. Dude, how sick is that? What's up, man? What's up, Maverick? All right, so we're still eight nautical miles out. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and hit the afterburners. Feel like having the afterburners on with the landing gear out is probably not the best idea, but we're just gonna work with it. Here we go. Hit the afterburners. Let's speed things up a little bit. I think our approach was a little bit too long. That's okay though. Casually going at 500 knots and nautical miles an hour. Is that is it nautical miles an hour or knots? 
miles an hour. I, I don't know. Air, is airspeed? What's airspeed in? I think it's in knots. It's got to be in knots. That, that was a really stupid thing to say, Trev. All right, here we go. So let's start slowing this thing down. Little island of Saba. Landed here so many times, man. I think we're going to have to uh, have to go here in a vlog. Let me get my binocs out. Oh, we, we way overcorrected. Okay. We're going to be fine. Bring it back to the left a little bit here. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to have to get on the brakes quick. I, I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I, I think it's going to be a little bit too close. Obviously, St. Martin was, you know, a questionable setup. But at least this one, we can land directly on the end. That might help a lot, too. I think we might be coming in too hot, though. Definitely coming in too hot. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Shoot, dude. Shoot. Hit the afterburner just a little bit too long. So one thing we haven't really been doing as much is setting our, our flaps for, for landing and really kind of increasing them a ton so that we have more lift and we're able to go at slower speeds. And I think that definitely would have helped us out over in St. Martin. So we're going to see what we can do here. Because like here, I mean, how fast are we going? 130 and we're, we're staying airborne. So that could be a big help to us. Let's see how we're doing here. We need to lose some altitude without gaining any speed. Don't want to lose two. Ooh, that was a mistake. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm using my peripherals. We're good. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Break, 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 break. How are we looking? Ah, oh, we're going off the cliff. Bolter, 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 bolter. No! No! No, 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 no. I can't see the runway. Short. We actually might be good here. We might be good here. We might be good here. Stop, 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 stop. No, we're not good. We're not good. Dude. Yeah. A little bit too hot. All right. Go ahead and abort that landing. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ooh, at least we saved it that time. Oh, this, this looks money. Fall this bird out of the sky, baby. No, this is so hard. Come on, baby. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. Break, 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 break. That's it. 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 Break. So close, dude. We just, we need like an extra, I don't know, five feet. Can we reverse thruster? Don't these things have reverse thrusters? I swear they, is there, hold on. Control options, toggle throttle, reverse thru, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, it, it brings our, our flaps above our wings up and everything. Okay, this, this is going to change the game for us then. So if we put this bird on the ground, we're going to be able to hit that, reverse the thrust, and we'll be good. Obviously, we've got an arresting cable on the, the aircraft carriers. We don't have that here. We need flaps up. Oh, shoot. We're going to come in way too hot here. But we'll, we'll see just how good these reverse thrusters are. We're coming in just egregiously hot. There's no way this is going to work. Reverse thrusters. Let's see what happens. Did it? I feel like it kind of increased our airspeed a little bit. It activates our speed brake button. We could even use that on approach and stuff if we just want to drop our speed a little bit. We're coming in a little hot here. Honestly, maybe even a little slow. I'm going to add a little bit of speed. I think our flaps might be a little bit too high. I'm going to lower the flaps a bit. We need more speed. We need more speed. We're way too slow. Bring it in. Bring it in, Trev. You got this. You got this. Dump it. Dump it. Air brake. Come on. Come on. Real brakes. Real brakes. Go into the grass. Go up the hill if you have to. That's going to count as a landing. If the plane doesn't wreck, it counts. Use the hill as a brake. I, I'm, I'm counting it. That's that's a W. We'll, we're going to roll back down the thing. Let me turn our air brakes off. Maybe that's not how... Oh, we're... Um, I mean, a little bit of damage to the elevators there. But I'm going to I'm gonna chalk that one up as, as a win. That, for whatever reason, was 10 times harder than any of the other ones that we've done. I, 
I what you guys have seen is probably one eighth, one tenth of what's actually gone down. Like that that was a lot. And we're doing a wheelie again, so that's kind of cool. Oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting one. Welcome to the Himalayas, and welcome to a Lukla Airport attempted landing. I I genuinely don't no, for I, I've, I've said this a couple times. We've worked it out. That last one was, I'm gonna be honest, sketchy at best. Dude, look at how beautiful this is. Look at the river we're going over and everything. This truly does look like fighter jet country, you know, going around through the mountains and things. But um, that last one, we kind of skirted the, the, I don't know, realm of reality. Being able to go off into the grass and up a mountain probably isn't the best thing for the jet, but it'd probably survive it. This has nothing. The, the Lukla is, is basically where you fly in to go climb Mount Everest. It's one of the sketchiest airports in the world, right on the side of the mountain. You've got a tarmac, buildings on each side, and a giant brick wall at the end of it. Like, there, there, is, there is no coming back from Lukla. There is no, you know, go-arounds. There's no going off the beaten path and trying to save it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we probably wanted to come down into the ravine down here. Dude, this is going to be so... Ridiculous! You can see that tiny little speck on the horizon there. We're really going to have to slow our speed down. Really going to want to slow our speed down. We're coming in at 300 knots. All right, this is not good. Um, let me pull pull one of these maneuvers. Come on, Maverick. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. We're in that jet wash, baby. We're going to come around this way. Let's pull. Come around this way. Pull up. Dude, there's there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. We're actually at a decent airspeed here. 220. I'm going to go ahead and hit our, our thing. Shoot. Speed brakes on. Shoot, 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 shoot. Brake, 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 Oh, there's the wall at the end. There's no way. It's it's literally going to be impossible. I genuinely... I. I mean, the other ones are possible if you're skilled enough. I, I would be really surprised unless you are an absolute top gun. Sorry, that was just bad. Unless, unless you're like a, a god, unless you are one of the most talented pilots in the world, I, I don't think this is possible. I'm going to try going up over the mountain, but then we're going to have too much. We're going to have too much descent, I think. This wasn't a good idea. Maybe if we just start hitting our air brake a lot early. I feel like that's uh, doing well for us. So the air brake, is that, is that just like, it, it slows you down a little bit, but I, if, if you go full throttle on the thrusters, it it's still pushes you forward. I'm honestly not sure how it works, but it, it's, this is not, this is not right. This is just not right. Let's slow this down. Our flaps are all the way up. I mean, honestly, the approach over the mountain's pretty good. To come in straight like this is is solid. I feel like that might help us out. The thing is, is we're just ooh, we could do the the maneuver where you go up over the mountain and then come down quickly. That might be something we might have to think about doing. Let me throw our air brake on again, our speed brake, I guess it's called. So we want to get down into like the 130, 120s. We have so much altitude to lose after going over that mountain. This actually might be the correct approach here. The good news is, is you're going uphill as you're landing, so obviously that helps you out a lot in terms of losing speed. Take the air brake off, the speed brake. Shoot. Got a little bit too much on the flaps. A little bit too much on the flaps. Let's lose some altitude. Come on. You know, if we if we really manage our speed going over these mountains, we're gonna be okay. I, I've been getting a little impatient. I think you just have to have the slowest approach ever. Like I, I'm just I'm I'm gonna stay at like this 150. We go up over that mountain. Obviously, we've got to lose altitude, and then that's gonna gain us some airspeed. But if we keep it low key like this, and we just go low and slow rather than trying to hurry up to get there. We might actually be able to make this happen. We just don't want to lose too much that we're not able to get over these mountains. 
So let's just low and slow do our thing here, dude. This is just incredible. I love this so much. This is so sick. It's genuinely so peaceful up here, man. Like, I, we're going 150 knots, but it just, it feels like we are hardly moving here. All right. I'm going to take a bit of a left here. That little U that we're aiming right at directly right now, that that's the spot we want to pass through. We honest, I mean, shoot. We could do one of those things where we invert and go down quickly. We don't want to gain too much speed here. I'm going to slow us down. I'm going to slow us down big time. All right. Barely going to crest this mountain. And then we're going to go down the back side of it. Got to lose altitude. As much as possible. We honestly want to lose it really, really quickly and then flatten back out. Because then we're going to be able to lose airspeed again. Oh. Uh. Okay. We. I have. I have no lift. I have no. No lift whatsoever. All right. We're good. We're good. I'm going to put our air brake on a little bit. We got to lose speed in a hurry. Not too much. Do you got to kind of anticipate where you're going to end up? We're coming in a little low. There we go. This actually might be decent. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is our air brake on? I don't know. Oh, speed brakes. Oh! Our, I don't think our speed brake was on. We had it. Dude, we would have had that there, 100%. I'm feeling a lot more confident. We just had our, uh, our afterburners on as we were coming in. But if we go down to, to nothing on the throttle and then we also activate this speed brake, we're, we're usually in a pretty good spot. Here we go. Let's get there, though. Let's get this. If we would have had the speed brake on there, we 100% would have had it. I just, so much going on, so much excitement, that sort of thing, we, we kind of forgot to. Here we go, coming in nice and easy at the base of Everest. Let's get it, baby. All right, everything's lined up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, the speed brake again, just a little bit, not much. Give it a little gas. You need to be coming in hot enough that you're not dropping like we just did. But not too hot that you go off the edge. Speed brakes on. We might be dropping too hard here. Oh my goodness! More lateral speed, less vertical speed is needed. We need to just slowly come in, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. A little, little bit impatient. We got the afterburners on here. Let's get to our goal. Air speed's up above 400, that's not to worry. Let's go ahead and cut the throttle, put our speed brake on, and watch how quick that number falls, dude. Down into the 300s already, almost to the 200s, up over the crust of this mountain. Let's drop our altitude. Try to level it out a little bit, and here we go. Another attempt coming right up. This one's just so tough, because you want to approach Fairly low. A little bit of the speed brake here. Not too much though. You want to approach low because it's it's angled down. There we go. A little bit of extra speed. Speed brakes on. Brakes are on. We got it. Tell me we got it. Oh my goodness, dude. There's no way. That was so clear. We didn't even use the top part, baby. What on earth? All right, we uh, don't don't fall off the mountain. Let me take the speed brake off. Um, um, this is an issue. This is an issue, sir. Okay, we're good. Not too fast. Let's just pull this thing. Oh, we're coming in a little hot. Speed brake it. Brake brake it. Let's go ahead and turn this bird on in. Can we turn it? She doesn't really like turning all that much. Yeah, she's. We're we're just gonna we're gonna park it on the white stripe. We're gonna call that a job well done, baby. What on I I did not think that was gonna be possible.
I, I, I genuinely did not think we were going to be able to do that. Obviously, that's the toughest one that we've done. And we honestly did it fairly easily. I, I think right there at the end, I finally kind of figured out the max flaps, the speed brake, that sort of thing. Didn't even know we had a reverse thruster speed brake for, for a while. That was something else. Now, there is one last thing I want to do. I figured since we landed here, it's only right that we get to take off as well, dude. This is the craziest airport in the world to take off from. You are literally at the top of a mountain. You are going downhill to pick up speed and then catapulting yourself off the edge. Just yeeting yourself off into the valley. And to do this in an F-18 is going to be absolutely spectacular. Here we go. Full power on the throttle. Let those things spool up. We're kind of poised, ready to go. Release. The parking brake, we're gonna activate our afterburners. Yes, this is gonna be a full afterburner takeoff here. Go down towards the edge of this mountain. We're gonna start pulling up. And look at that, dude. That is just absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and bring our, uh, our landing gear up and we can go ahead and head down into this valley, dude. This is so insane. Turn the afterburners back on. I think they turn off when you bring the landing gear up. I feel like afterburners with landing gear down is never a good idea, but look at this. This is where this jet was truly meant to roam, dude. This is just incredible. See how low we can go. See if we can carve our way through these little ravines and canals and things. We're starting to get a little little bit sketchy, but we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Dude, this was such a fun episode. I, I really, really enjoyed this, and it was honestly tougher than I thought it was going to be. A couple of them we really, really struggled with. I thought it was going to be fairly easy because these things are so responsive, but I didn't take into account just how much the speed was going to play an issue for us so hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want more flights sim, be sure to let me know i really want to try to get an a plus landing on the aircraft carrier i think now that we have all this intel and we're really starting to get to know the jet a bit better i think we're going to be able to do that Ooh, look at this get over the crest of the mountain lose some of that altitude whoa my goodness this is this terrain is just exactly where this jet was meant to be so hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to see you guys in our next video. If you guys have any challenges or anything you want me to do, let me know. I, I'm, I'm definitely thinking we're going to do aircraft carrier. I also kind of want to fly an F-14 Tomcat through New York City. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.